But Jesus just looked at him and said, Let me introduce you to my true mother and brothers. Then gesturing to the disciples gathered around him, he said, Look closely, for this is my family. My true family. And when you obey my heavenly father, that makes you part of my true family. Definition just changed of true family. Not blood, spirit. Now that was easy for Jesus to say because he already knew who his father was. But it might not have been easy for Mary and the brothers to hear. It might have been really hard for them to hear. It might have been really offensive for them to hear. It might be offensive for some of your family to hear that, well, my true family are the ones that obey my father, who are disciples, who are in the new wine. But we're all Christians. Yeah, but not like this. There you go. There you go. This is new. Amen. This is new wine for a reason. Amen. That's why there's a distinction between old wine and new wine. Different. Night and day different. Amen. So relationships must be pure. Jesus says those are the relationships that you have that are from people who are surrendered to the will of God, they're pure. Amen. That's right. I'm not saying kick your family to the curb and never talk to them again, but you need to know priority. Yeah. Yep. You must know priority. If you don't know priority, you'll cave. And you definitely will not put the will of God in the forefront, in the new one.